An effort that's uh, how the Maricopa County Recorder describes the challenge ahead for those who want to replace Alistair Adell as Maricopa County Attorney. Yeah, a Herculean effort. Under mounting political pressure, Adell announcing she is resigning effective Friday, but now the scramble is on to fill her position at least temporarily, and then you've got the election in November. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia joins us live with more on what's next. First things first is the Board of Supervisors, right? That's right, John. The Board of Supervisors has to appoint a temporary county attorney once Alistair Adele officially resigns. That's this Friday. But that's just the temporary county attorney. Candidates are now vying to replace Alistair Adele. The election is this November, but there's a very important deadline that's coming up in less than two weeks on April 4th. People who want to run and be on the ballot must submit several thousand signatures by April 4th, but this time voters have have a virtual option of submitting their signatures in addition to pen and paper. This really is a big lift. Most candidates spend many months to gather the number of signatures that are required for a countywide or for a statewide race. The process of replacing and electing a new county attorney is governed by state statute, so there's no flexibility in the April 4th deadline. However, there is a new option for voters to sign petitions online. It's a Herculean lift, but one of the two candidates has already posted that she has gathered 3,000 using the online equal portal system and those signatures that are gathered through the equal portal are automatically verified meaning you don't have to worry about those signatures being challenged as you would for signatures that are gathered the old-fashioned way by pen and paper two candidates have already completed the first step in qualifying for the ballot and have submitted statements of interest democrat julie gunnigal who lost to alistair adele in 2020 is now running again republican annie foster who's currently general counsel for governor doug ducey is also running but first an interim county attorney must be chosen rick romley is offering his help he previously served as county attorney for 15 years and also served as interim county attorney back in 2010. i'd be willing to step into that short period of time to try to help right the ship you know stay focused 100 percent on you know getting the office back together again restoring public trust in it and I'm told that the Board of Supervisors have not yet met to discuss who they may choose as the interim county attorney. Meanwhile, as I said, April 4th is the deadline for candidates to get their signatures in. And one candidate so far, just within the past hour, has announced on social media that she's already met her threshold. A Democrat Julie Gunnigal announcing that she's officially collected the more than 4,300 signatures that she needs to get her name on the ballot for the August primaries, and most of those signatures were collected online through Equal. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.